Send my baby love me I found a new place to dwell Down at the end of lonely street A hungry hotel, you know you You make me so lonely, baby You make me so lonely You make me so lonely I could die Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our weekly meeting of our local chapter of the Elvis Lifeline Vocal Impressionist Support Network, the ELVIS Network. I see we have newcomers in the audience tonight. Welcome. I should explain to you newcomers that our meetings always begin with somebody doing a verse or two from Heartbreak, just to put us in the picture, and tonight it's my turn to start the ball rolling. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I might also mention that in our system, impressions of the king need not be gender-specific. Okay, maybe I'm not the king. Maybe I don't even want to be the king. Well, sometimes I do, and then again I think I don't. But I'm okay. At least I think I'm okay. Anyway, as you know, being Elvis Impressionists yourselves, we don't want to copy the king. We just want to kind of let him come on in. Yeah, can you feel him? Let me hear you say, that's all right, Mama. Yeah, I feel good, don't it? So let all them fools out. out. Sorry, sorry. So we, we let the people out there keep thinking that this is some sort of mass psychosis, that we all know that in this time of great peril, it's imperative to have access to the king. But as you also know, it can make things very difficult. Like last week, up in my room at the hotel. It was right after I unpacked my new nuclear family simulator. You know, sometimes UPS drivers don't like to go all the way up to the end of Lonely Street, and I know because I used to do a little driving back in Memphis myself. Anyway, that day the UPS truck made it all right. I plugged in the simulator and turned it on. I thought I would just start to relax, y'all, but it was then that I saw how empty my life really was. I panicked. I ran out the door and down the steps of the hotel, right into the street, screaming out a distress call, calling all Elvises, calling all Elvises, but there wasn't none of y'all around. And I'm mighty lucky to have y'all here now to talk about it. Thank you very much. Out on Lonely Street, I tried to collect my thoughts. I knew the first thing I needed to do was figure out Am I I real real upset upset, or just just fooling fooling myself? myself. So I give myself a little test. I said, are you really feeling this? this? And that's when I answered, yeah, Yeah, real real quick quick like. like. So I decided I was not fooling myself, which meant that I probably had fooled myself into thinking that I wasn't, so I probably was. Or was it the other way around? Either way, I knew I needed help. You know how you get. I needed to find a specialist. I know we're supposed to stay away from the specialist types, but I was desperate, so I dialed the number. The doctor was happy to hear from me. She saw me immediately. The doc said, I haven't seen you for quite some time. Yeah, doc, I'm sorry we drifted apart. So what's on your mind this time? I know I should have been starting to relax about them, but I heard myself saying, Doc, I'm caught in a trap. Well, you did the right thing coming here. Tell me about it. Doc... Since little sister put me down, the stage is bare. I'm standing there with emptiness all around, and I'm feeling so lonely. It sounds like you're having another one of your popular song regressions. No, Doc, this time it's real. No, in reality, you're not actually feeling lonely. You only think you are. But why, Doc? Close your eyes. Try to remember. Because they want me to... Doc, that's good so far. Now, what do they want you to do? Because if my life is empty, then they can fill it up with their products. That's right. To them, you're just another... Just another credit card. Right, Doc. I remember. Good. Excellent. God... I just bought something called the Nuclear Family Simulator. Remind me about these people, Doc. It's too complicated for you to understand. All you need to know is that it's controlled by, we'll call them the people at the top. International Headquarters. 
and that is when I heard the king's voice speak through me, loud and clear as day. All them All people, people up at international, international headquarters, headquarters can bend, bend down, down and, and kiss, kiss my, my international, international hindquarters. That's, That's the king, king talking, talking Doc. Doc. Now listen to me. You cannot allow this king persona or anybody else to tell you what to do. Do you understand? Yeah, yeah Doc, Doc, got, got it. it. Thank you Thank very much. much. Take control of your life. Stop letting these corporate criminals force you to buy all these products you don't really need. No, no Doc, I don't, I don't need them. Good, good. That will be $100. You can pay the receptionist on your way out. In my mind, the king was singing money, honey, y'all, but I didn't sing along. What about the fact that I'm feeling so lonely I could die, Doc? You're just imitating life. You should try the real thing. We do take most major credit cards. What about my past, Doc? Ain't, ain't we gonna talk about my past? You know, Tupelo, son, the early days. You're slipping again. Your life is not a museum. I know, Doctor. When I'm here, I can see that, but what about when I get back home? That's another thing. You need to move out of that old hotel. What? You mean I'm going to have to find a new place to dwell? But why, Doc? You know why. But that's my home. You know it's too dangerous for you there. No, Doc. All I know is the closer to home I get, the more I got to pee. And what does that mean? I mean that if I don't go back to the hotel, I'm afraid I won't be able to pee. The way things are going, you'll be homeless soon, and you'll have to pee wherever you are. I'm sorry. It's time for my next appointment. You head shrinker types, types think you know everything, everything, don't you? And you Elvis types are always so quick to categorize. That ain't, that ain't funny, funny, Doc. Don't forget to schedule another appointment on the way out. I ain't gonna need no other appointment, Doc. The king was moving in me, y'all. Had me feeling strong, mighty strong. I'm gonna be standing on my own two feet from here on out. Look at yourself. How long do you think you can keep up this ridiculous Elvis Presley facade? Can't you see what it's doing to you? That cut me, y'all. I headed for the door. Don't let nobody talk about the king like that. Yeah, I'm feeling strong as a mountain, and you, Doc, you seem weak as a willow tree to me. I thought I had no cause to doubt you, but I was blind. And you're wrong. You ain't no friend of mine. You ain't never caught a rabbit. You're wrong, Doc, any way you do. As I headed for the door, I heard the Doc saying, Open your eyes. Go look in the mirror. And they said the doc was high class. Who does she think she is? Try to knock me down, step on my ego. Hell, she's even worse than them damn two sisters. I'm thinking, no, no, it is all my fault. I can accept that. Then I think even the king himself must have had some moments of doubt. Right then it come to me, y'all. I thought the doc was evil. And I reacted. I think, this is progress. Then I think, just like the doc said, I do have this tendency to categorize people into the Elvises and the non-Elvises, you know, the good and the evil. Then it hit me. I am not Elvis. None of you are Elvis. No, everything became crystal clear. I saw that every person has one Elvis part and one non-Elvis part inside of them. And that Elvis part has one Elvis part and one non-Elvis part inside of it. And so on, and so on. I finally understood. The universe is essentially digital. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. I was starting to panic. Are you feeling all shook up? Huh? And that's when I remembered about my brand new nuclear family simulator back at the hotel. By the time I made it back to the end of Lonely Street, I had to pee something terrible, y'all. Now, I know that only fools rush in, but when I got to my room, I headed straight for the John to pee real quick-like. Then I got me a nice fire going on the hearth channel, switched on the family simulator and punched up holograms and settled back to listen as old holler grandpa spun a yarn about little Vernon in the good old days. And in Gramps' hands, my heart was clay. And that, y'all, that was when I finally felt myself begin to relax. Thank you very much.